Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you a couple of um, utilities on Mac OS X Snow Leopard. Um, it should be the same um, on pretty much all of the Mac OS X versions, apart from a couple of differences. Um, so I'm going to be taking a look at Activity Monitor and Network Utility. Let's take a quick look at um, Activity Monitor first. Um, if you're from Windows such as myself, um, this is the Mac OS X equivalent of um, Task Manager. We have um, all of our running processes here. We have a few different columns, the process ID, the process name, um, what user the process is running as, um, the CPU and thread usage, memory usage, etc. Um, and we can click on an individual process and we can quit the process if it's not responding. We can inspect the process and get um, you know, information on memory usage, the CPU usage, um, some more detailed statistics, open files and ports, etc. So, you know, this is um, a pretty handy utility. We have a few different tabs at the bottom here too. We have the CPU usage, you know, by the user, the system and, um, you know, just idle. And um, memory. Um, I have found a pretty good website which explains memory a lot better than I can. I believe it's um, I believe it's an official help article on the Apple website. Uh, yep, it, the article is called Mac OS X Reading System Memory Usage in Activity Monitor. Um, I recommend that um, you take a look at this article. It explains um, what all of these different um, things mean. You know, free memory um, obviously means it's not being used. Um, wired memory basically means that um, it cannot be moved to the hard disk um, so it has to um, stay in active memory. Um, active memory, this information is currently in memory and has been recently used in active memory. This information in memory is not, act is not actively being used but was recently used. Um, with inactive memory, it like I like to um, look at inactive memory as um, free memory when all of your unused and free memory gets used your inactive memory will then get used. Um, used memory is pretty obvious this is the total amount of memory used and I won't bore you um, with all of these other things so I recommend you take a look at this article yourself. Um, is there anything else I can show you in this application? We have um, disk activity um, you know, your read-ins, um, write-outs, etc. Uh, disk usage, you know, um, how much um, free disk um, space you have. And um, we also have a bit of a network monitor here, you know, the packets in and the packets out. It's all pretty basic here. You can um, display packets and data. Uh, so that's pretty much it for activity monitor. And now I'd like to take a look at um, network utility, which I think is slightly more exciting. Um, it's a handy utility, um, you know, a lot of these are commands you can do in the terminal. Though Apple has sort of, you know, put it into a GUI utility. Um, so you can select a network interface to find out information about it. I believe I'm using Airport. So I can find out the hardware address, IP address, the current link speed, um, the status, the vendor, etc. And the um, send packets and received packets, which is pretty nice. Um, we have NetStat, you know, you can display the routing table information. Um, the chances are that you won't have to use this. This is um, more used by system administrators. Um, it won't really benefit you. Um, yeah, uh, the chances are it won't really benefit you. Uh, we have ping, so enter the network address to ping. So I could ping youtube.com. And all um, Ping really does is um, checks that the website is online. And it's nice, you can either send an unlimited number of pins or send only 10 pings. So as I said before, you can do a lot of this stuff in the terminal. So in the terminal, I could just go ping, you know, youtube.com and it would do the same thing. It's just that Apple has given it a nice um, GUI interface. Uh, we also have lookup, um, enter an internet address to lookup. Um, again, I could do this on youtube.com. I would also like to um, state sometimes, I don't know why, but sometimes when you put the www dot, it doesn't like to work. Um, I'm not sure why. So I'm just going to do youtube.com again in this example. 
and I'm just going to select any slash all information and select, um, select lookup so you can find out some information about youtube.com you know the chances are it won't really benefit you you know it's just got all of the IP addresses and um, name servers etc uh, trace route what this basically does is it shows you um, all of the servers that um like for example if you're trying to access youtube.com it shows you all of the servers you have to go through before you actually get access to YouTube so I'm just going to quickly do youtube.com again here and it is now showing me um, all of the um, different you know servers I have to go through to get to YouTube um, how could this be handy? Um, how could this um, come in handy? Um, for example, if you have um, connectivity issues um, and you, um, you know, do a trace route, you might find um, what server is causing all the issues and whether it's on your network or your ISP's network or if it's, you know, one of YouTube's servers, etc. So the tool can come in handy, though it's not something you will need to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, who is is more or less um, finding out information about um, a certain domain. Um, if um, a company or person doesn't have privacy protect enabled on their domain, you can even find out their full name, address, phone number, etc. I'll just do youtube.com again. Uh, the chances are that we aren't going to find out much information. So who, who is has started. Let's see if it has coughed up <clears throat> anything interesting. No, <clears throat> no, not that much has come up really. Um, I don't like the built-in who is um, command they have here. If you go to you know who dot is, or <clears throat> just Google who is, um, a lot of the websites that come up display a lot more information than this utility. <clears throat> Finger, um, Finger is <clears throat> a very old utility. Um, it used to be used. Um, well, for a number of different reasons. Um, one of the reasons is to see if other people are on their computer, are logged onto their computer. So, for example, I can type in my computer's username or the username I'm logged into at the moment. And as you can see, it's currently saying I'm logged on. Though if I was to type John, there is no John user account, by the way. And, you know, John no such user. So if there was a user, John, and it wasn't logged on, it would probably say the same thing. Uh, and we can also do a port scan. Um, I highly recommend that you only do this on your own network and computer. If you, you know, go and do a port scan on, you know, the FBI website, etc., then you could have people knocking on your door. So, you know, I could just do it on um, my, my computer's IP address, which I believe is 192.168.03 from memory. And if I do a scan, it will find all of the ports. It does take quite a while to do. Though um, on my Mac, there aren't many open ports. There's an ITV port that's open, I know that. Um, though if you were to do you know, a port scan on Windows, then you'll definitely see a lot more open ports. Yep, ITV has come up. Maybe one or two other ports will come up. They're not that um, many ports. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can really show you. Um, you know, all of these are, you know, um, handy utilities to use. Um, you know, we also have the disk utility. Um, I won't go into much detail, you know, I, you know, you can click on your hard drive and you can raise and <coughs> erase and partition it. Um, I have had a few questions about um, about formatting a hard drive for both Mac OS X and Windows and I might make another video on that soon. Um, if you have any questions then feel free to ask me and thanks for watching. <music>